Microsoft has recently launched a very interesting piece of software, which is called Autogen. And there's so much talk about it in AI spaces. So in this video, we are going to discuss what exactly is Autogen, how we can install it on our laptops so that we can play around with it. And at the end, we are going to make two demos out of it. Demo one, very basic, creating stock prices graphs. And number two, making a snake game using Autogen. So let's begin. Autogen is a multi-agent framework which provides you the ability to create multiple agents and make them interact with each other very efficiently. Agents basically consist of three things, memory, LLM and tools. And by using these three things, agents can achieve very amazing things. If you want to know in detail what exactly are agents, I have created a video about it. I will leave the link in the description. You can check it out. Now coming back to the topic. There are three key differentiating factors of Autogen. Number one is conversible agent by which agent can interact with each other. Number two, user proxy agent. And by using this proxy agent, we as a human can be the part of interaction between assistant agents. Three, group chat managers. Group chat managers manages the chat between multiple assistant agent and user proxy agent. So let's see this in action. Here is a basic two agent conversation example. So first we are importing from Autogen import assistant agent and user proxy agent. And then we'll create assistant equal to assistant agent and we'll name it as assistant. Same with user proxy agent. User proxy agent name user proxy. Now what is happening here? The assistant receives a message from user which contains the task description. So we'll initiate the task user proxy dot initiate chat. It will go to assistant and the message is what date is today? Which big tech stock has the largest year to date gain this year? How much is the gain? So how this flow works? Let's see. First user proxy agent will send the message to the assistant agent. This is the message. Now assistant agent will write some code and it will go back to user proxy agent. User proxy agent then execute the results and give the feedback. Based on that feedback, assistant agent will update the code and again user proxy agent will again execute the result of the updated code. And this will go back and forth until the final result come and then it will get terminated. Now let's code two agents, user proxy agent and assistant agent, and we can make them interact with each other. Of course, by using Autogen, we will generate stock prices graph for last one year and we will interact with assistant agent by using user proxy agent and we'll change the graph as per our requirement along the way. So let's see how it works. I have already created the virtual environment and I have activated it as well. Here is virtual environment autogen. First, we need to create this file openai config list. So here is the file. If you open it, it is nothing but model name and API key of the GPT 3.5 turbo model. So you have to define it in this format. This is default by autogen. Now we'll create this file autogen demo. So I have already created it. We need to import assistant agent, user proxy agent and config list from JSON. So this config list from JSON help us import this file. So here I'm importing that file. Now we'll create our first agent, which is assistant agent who will write code for us. Here is the assistant agent. This is how you define it by using this assistant agent class. Now here I'm passing LLM config and this is the same file which we have imported in this variable. I'm passing it here. And here is the user proxy agent. By using user proxy agent, we can interact with assistant agent. It will act as a AI agent on behalf of human. So here I am saying user proxy agent. I am naming it as well user underscore proxy underscore agent. I am giving human input mode as always. So whenever assistant agent generate code in each step, it will ask user proxy agent to give the input. So that is what it reflects here. And here is the code execution config. So if you can see here, this is the code execution config. So whatever code assistant agent will write, it will be saved inside the directory called coding, which will be generated here in the same root folder and use Docker. I'm giving it false because we are not using, we are not using autogen through Docker. We are using it through uh, PyAutogen. Now we are initiating the chat between them. So let's see how it works. User proxy agent initiate chat and first parameter is assistant and we are passing the message. So the message is we want to plot the chart of Suzlon and Praj Industries stock prices for last one year and save it as PNG file. Let's just run all the cells from the top. So I will run all the cells. And once we run this cell, it will start the interaction between two agents. So let's see. So this is the message from us, which is through user proxy agent. And let's wait for the response of assistant agent, which is generating the code here. 
So here is the code which is being generated. And if you can see, it looks very promising to me. Required libraries. All the libraries and everything which is required to run this code, it will automatically install it and save the chart as PNG here. So I do not see any need to give any input here. So I'll just press enter and it should execute this code. So I'll press enter and it hit the error and it will solve the error by itself. And as you can see on the left side here, one coding directory got generated and it will save all the code here. So let's just once again hit enter because I do not see any need to give the input. I think we need to give the input because pd.read csv and there is no such file present in this folder. There is no file named suzlon.csv. Please fetch the data from internet and let's see what our assistant agent do. And I think this code looks correct to me. Fetch the stock prices using pandas data reader. It is using some libraries and everything. And let's just hit enter once again. One more error which is getting solved by let's just enter once again. And I think they have generated yes. So if you can see in the coding folder, there is one file stock chart.png. And if I open it, here is the graph of all the prices of Suzlon and Praj Industries in last one year. And this looks very good to me. But let's say I want, I do not want to see this chart. I want the percentage chain chart for both the stocks. So the good thing Autogen provides us is we can interact right now and we can say I want percentage change for both stocks. By using this way, we can give the message to assistant agent in the conversation in the running conversation and here I think it has generated the code for us and let's just press enter and it should create one more file in the coding directory and here is the stock percentage change chart and if I run this if I open this here is the percentage change chart for both Suzlon versus Praj so this is how we can use the user proxy agent which is extremely powerful to interact with the assistant agent and we can modify our requirement. We can direct the assistant agent to take the steps in right direction and solve the problem at hand. Now let's create snake game by using autogen and we are using multiple agents here and we are also using group chat. Here I am importing the open AI config list file same as before. Just only change is I am giving a request timeout as 120 seconds because if we are asking the agent to generate a complex code it might take time and it should not time out so that is why i'm giving the request timeout to be 120 seconds and here we are defining the user proxy agent so user proxy agent the name is user proxy agent and here i'm passing the system message so this system message was working very good for this use case and here is the system message this is a human admin who will give idea and feedback on the code provided by the coder coder is our next agent this is the coder agent and once user press enter code will run and here i am passing the code execution config the working directory should be new game which is not present here on the left as you can see and the human input is always in each step it will ask for the human input now we are creating the coder agent so assistant agent name is coder system message write the code according to the requirement given by pm run and debug the code and fix the errors install required libraries whenever required so just the spelling error i will fix it same thing goes with product manager agent here we are defining product manager system messages you will help break down the initial idea into well scoped requirement for the coder do not involve in future conversations or error fixing and again i am passing the llm config now if we want to make these three agents interact with each other we will use group chat manager from autogen so here is autogen.groupchat we will pass all the agents and we are not passing any message at the beginning. Now manager equal to autogen dot group chat manager group chat equal to this is the group chat and LLM config. So this was just the group chat and this is the group chat manager. Here is the difference. And now let's start the conversation. So conversation will start by user proxy agent and it will initiate the chat and chat will go to manager. Earlier it was going to assistant. Now it is going to manager so that it can manage the chat. As a user, we are giving it a task to build a snake game. Snake should get bigger after eating bugs on screen. 
बग्स शुड बी क्लियरली विजिबल स्नेक शुड नॉट गो आउट ऑफ स्क्रीन मेक द स्पीड ऑफ स्नेक नॉर्मल नॉट सो फास्ट सो दिस वॉज द प्रॉम्ट वर्किंग वेल फॉर मी वेन आई वॉज ट्राइंग इट आउट एंड लेट जस्ट और अन दिस कोड एंड सी वॉट हैपन्स सो द यूजर एजेंट हैज पास अर मैसेज टू दी कॉन्वर्सेशन लेट्स वेट फॉर द रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम आई दर कोडर और प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर ओके कोडर हैज गिवन अ सम रिस्पॉन्स दिस इज द कोड द कोडर हैज गिवन नाउ आई थिंक प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर विल कम इन टू प्ले एंड इट विल गिव अस द नेक्स्ट आउटकम बिकॉज इट हैज नॉट प्रोमटेड अस to give any feedback yet so let's wait for product manager to give some response yes so product manager has given us the list of requirements coder is implementing it and everything seems fine to me and it is prompting us as well so let's just hit enter and see what is happening so this is the snake game and if you put the arrow you can move your snake around So I'll just close it, exit, and this is done. You can give very complex prompts for your use case. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much.